In this video, I'll be showing you what it's like to use a Raspberry Pi as a media player, like a home theatre PC. So just how good could this device be that you can pick up for around, what, £30? Just how good can that be compared to, well, a computer I've built down there that's cost me, well, around £400, so more than 10 times the amount. Yeah, just how good can it be in comparison to that? So in this video, I'll be showing you a few examples of what it's like to play like a Blu-ray quality film, all the way down to like just a standard 1080p, 720, DVD, and like a mobile phone screen size video. And what I've opted for is to use RASP-MC, and that stands for Raspberry XBMC. And it's quite a long-winded name, so that's probably why they went for RASP-MC. It's kind of a bit simpler there. And that's just really easy to install. You bang it on your SD card, put it in the Raspberry Pi, resizes the, it resizes the drive itself, reboots, and then there you are, you've got XBMC there up and running. I did a few tweaks just to let it know my amplifier is capable of playing Dolby Digital and DTS. And note that is not the Dolby True HD and DTS HD. They're not even listed in the menu, and I'm not surprised at that. But yeah, just a few tweaks like that, and there we are, up and running. Right, for starters, we'll just bring out a screensaver, so I've just moved the keyboard along. And we'll go into the movie list. I've not put my whole collection on here, simply because it was just taking far too long. And you'll see here, it's just taking a little while to refresh and move along the menus. It gets there, but this is just something I'm noticing first. There is a delay. I suppose it's hardly surprising the Raspberry Pi has a 700 megahertz single core CPU. My home theatre PC has a quad core 3 gigahertz. So the first movie we're going to start with is Safe House. I'll just go for starting from the beginning. Now this is a 35 gig movie. This is a Blu-ray quality. It kind of plays an average of between about 30 to 40 megabits per second. And the problem is that is beyond what a 100 megabits link can really realistically achieve. You'll see here we just have, it can do the intro okay, but if I hop forward, you just see it's buffering in the top corner. In fact, I thought I pressed up to move it forward a chapter. There we go, okay. Now it is moving forward, isn't it? Ten minutes. I swear on my life, I had So let's just turn that down, we don't need to hear the sound for this. I'm just showing you the picture quality here. Now you just see here it's all very grainy this picture and it's just stuttering. Clearly it's absolutely no good for watching this. Just get the stats about the movie there and I can just see as soon as it peaks at 30 megabits per second it, the whole picture just seems to stop and it has to buffer. So that's no good at all. Now we'll drop down in size and go for Man on a Ledge. This movie is about 12 gig. I think plays more an average of about 10 megabits per second. This is in full 1080 HD 1080 quality. Now it's a bit grainy there as I fast forwarded. So let's just fast forward again, but just jump a bit further. Okay, it took a little while to move forward, but now it's actually playing, and it's playing a you know, perfectly viewable quality there. Just bring up the stats about it. Okay, we look. Going between, what, 10 to 17. That's fine. What CPU usage? CPU usage is... Oh, that went up to about 97 I saw. Yeah, so it's kind of pushing the CPU a bit there. But that's fine, it is working. Just viewing my TV there, you can see that the resolution is HD 1080 at 60 hertz. So I close that. Now we'll drop down in quality and go for a 720, HD 720 movie. And there's no problems playing this one. Fast forward. It seeks a lot quicker. You can certainly see this is where the Raspberry Pi is more comfier at being, around 720p mo HD 720 movies. Let's just look down at the amplifier. You see that's doing Dolby Digital. And incidentally there is the Raspberry Pi down there on the floor. Now we'll go down in quality a bit more and go for the Naked Gun. And it's taken a little while to refresh the screen here. 
Now, come on, come on. I don't worry about it, we're just going to play the movie. Right. Right, now it's opening it. The quality here is perfectly good. Let's just seek forward a bit. Still takes a little while to seek forward. It's playing it perfectly fine. CPU usage is a bit lower. That's good. Plays DVD quality absolutely fine. Now I thought we'd lower the quality even more, going for something that's like uh, about the size of a mobile phone screen. So for that I've opted for my music videos. Right, so there's this one. Except it's not playing it. No, it's playing it. It's only playing the audio for this one. This is a WebM format. So there's no decoding in the Raspberry Pi for that. And the last video we'll look at is this one. This is a proper low resolution star stylers keep on moving. Now on my system, it upscales these videos. So when they're really low quality, it just smooths everything out. And you'll see at the moment, when it does like a fast moving section, the, the image is just like a load of squares. I'm not sure how well this will come out on video, but that's why I'll just sort of talk about it. So there you go, that was a Raspberry Pi being used in an XBMC media player. But I do believe for £30, it has not done that well really. You'd have to pick and choose your media collection and draw it. If you're happy with lower quality there, say with movies at around 720p, HD 720, DVD quality, you're going to be okay. If you're after the top of the range, no, it's no good for that. You'd be better off spending more money building a media player and you'd have a lot better quality, it would run faster, it's more responsive. But for the £30, I still don't think it's that good. There's other media players around, there's one for like £40, Android based one, probably does a better job. There's even one I bought my parents. Like, can't remember the name of it now, but I paid about £25 for it. It stutters a little bit on 1080p movies, but it plays them, and it plays more formats than the Raspberry Pi can. But I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. See you later.